calling a seven-year-old a cunt and giving them the middle finger, that's that's something. I, I get the sort of tribal nature of watching football. I like integrated crowds. It's not dangerous. There's no segregation. Yeah. There's not. If they just took away away ends, mm. what would happen? Chaos, man. I genuinely think it'd be chaos. Yeah, do you? Yeah. It depends yeah. on the field. I mean, those cultures are really entrenched now. That's yeah. the thing. Been there in the hockey like they do in all the big sports these days. And this is the crowd reaction when they see the kid. Uh, and the crowd reaction when, they, when the kid is not on screen. There we go. A little four-year-old kid there with his uh, with his parents, I assume. Um, a little sign there saying it's his first hockey game. They put him on the big screen. You know, yeah, the place goes goes off, raises the roof. Then they show a crowd shot, booze. Back to the kid, cheers. Back to the crowd, booze. And uh, eventually, the kid gets what's going on. Yeah. When his yeah, face lights up, that's the sweetest thing. He yeah. But the get fourth it time it happens. Yeah. It's so great, and his parents yeah. are there with him as well. And we always talk about it. That, but that. He won't forget that. He, he's, no. he's, a, he's a Red Wings fan for life now, isn't he? And also, I think, maybe the third time, he he thinks, is it for me? Oh, yeah. I don't know. No, I'm not sure about they that. And then the fourth time, he's like, okay, they're cheering me now. Like I me, get guys. it. You and like he's me. smiling. I think uh, interesting psychology of the people, the adults who are being, bo- yeah. who are being booed. Yeah. Because some of them are trying to keep a straight face. Come on. Yeah. yeah. You know what's coming. Yeah. yeah, but you, you have you have to laugh when twenty thousand people are booing you because you're not a four year old boy. <laughs> and I I have to say I'm listening to Nick Hornby's Fever Pitch on your, on okay, your yeah. recommendation, right? Nearly finished yeah. it. It's a brilliant book. And I I get the sort of tribal nature of watching football. Hmm. I get it. I don't I don't do it, but I understand it. Sure. But there's something to be said for. I like integrated crowds. I like the fact that there's. Vancouver Canucks fans sat amongst a bunch of Detroit Red Wings fans mm. and there is piss taking going on mm. and ribbing but I know this sounds wanky it's not it's not dangerous there's no segregation yeah. it's not do you know what I mean yeah 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 I understand the the sort of I've been in the in the in the right next when played uh, I've only I've been to like four whale games in my life right okay I've been to one car of city game in my life okay and it is quite it sounds awful. There is a bit of a buzz when it gets sort of fractious between the yeah. two sets of fans. It's nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it shouldn't be, yeah. but it is. It's just yeah, like. Yeah. But I do prefer, if I had to pick one of them, I prefer the sort of. Yeah, the sort of. Um, this sort of thing. Okay. I so think what the... I don't like is when fans of sports where there is no segregation get on their um, sort of high horses about it. Yes. And act yeah. as if there is never aggro at these events when well, they're when not, they're, that's not true. When yeah. they're I've seen big years. fights at basketball. Yeah, like yeah. In yeah. The I've seen fights at rugby. Yeah. I've seen fights. Yeah. At you rugby. know exactly, and that, that's that's the thing. I think I think with the segregation, I think it does focus the atmosphere a bit more than when it's unsegregated. Mm. But I have been to rugby and I have been to uh, cricket, where it's unsegregated, and there is something I w- nice I as how well. Much of that about is is almost like um, circular. Do you know what I mean? What if they took... I've been to watch soccer games in North America, shall we say. Mm -hmm. That's why I call it soccer. Distinguish it. That's fine. Without segregation. Mm. There weren't huge crowds, but there were still like, you know, a couple of thousand people there. Yeah. It didn't kick off. Because they've they've got no background in that. So I Yes. If they took away... If they just took away away ends... Mm. What would happen? I, I think, think most people these days chaos, man. I genuinely think it'd be chaos. Yeah, do you? Yeah, it depends on the genuinely. fixture. Okay, because there's, interested there's, there's it, talk yeah. of. I mean, those cultures are really entrenched now. That's yeah. the thing. Having sat you in the family stand scratch. with a load of kids around you and watched, I'm just trying to think which team it was. I saw. I was Reading the fans calling them cunts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> calling a seven year old a cunt and giving them the middle <laughs> finger. That's that's something. I think I'm not sure what it is but like something the, the South Wales Derby is still a bubble game yeah and 
It's not still, is it? Yeah, yeah. And there was talk. It's slightly, you know, the it's it's now gone back to a normal kickoff time, whereas for years it was sort of Sunday yeah. morning. But um, and it was the last season at Cardiff. It was a five p.m. It kickoff was. on a Saturday, yeah. which chaos. I was surprised was at. Chaos. But so because they've ever so slightly relaxed the rules around it, yeah. there is then talk, particularly from the Cardiff side actually, saying we should relax the bubble and people should be allowed to make their own way to the ground. I think the vast majority of people wouldn't be doing fighting, no. but there would be enough for there to be trouble at that fixture. Yeah. So it depends on, you know, pe- people are going to get hurt at that game yeah. if you remove the bubble. And the bubble does appear heavy-handed when you think that there are other high-profile... Like the the North London derby was, you know, last week. Mm. And that's not a bubble fixture. But it's no. there's still... There's, you still need well, a Spurs lot of... Spurs not, is it? No, no, you still need... I think it felt spicy this, outside the ground, I have to say, looking at some and, of the footage of the police there. Yeah, I think the South Wales derby is the only bubble fixture left, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't think the old firm game is a bubble fixture. Is it not? Bloody hell. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong on that. Hang on. I'm going to... You talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Chat amongst yourselves for a bit, everybody. Yeah, I just don't know how much of that, if you if you open it up. Hmm. If, if if the vast majority of people don't are not there for a scrap. Yeah. I don't know. I just, just think it's the, Just arrest the ones who are scrapping, don't you? Yeah, I think it's just the culture now, isn't it? I think the culture yeah. is a way ends. The culture is provocation. And the culture at a lot of these games, is yeah, a lot of you just you just well. can't start that culture. You just can't yeah. start the culture again. That's the the problem. Yeah. And you can't reset. I wonder when it started. I wonder when available. away ends and away section became a thing. It couldn't have been like well, this people day started one. traveling to games really in the sixties. Mm. Okay, because prior to that, you didn't really have very many away you fans. Your local games well. because suddenly people had more access to private cars, so it was easier to get to places. And then what happened is you get a little bit of... Because, you know, football attracted such a different kind of crowd in those days. Yeah. And then you get little pockets of trouble when games weren't segregated, and then segregation became the the obvious solution to that problem. And also, in terms of hooliganism, I mean, there's loads of reasons for why hooliganism started. But if you get picked on when you're trying to watch your team in good faith away from home, then what was happening was people were getting revenge when that game was being played at home or the next time they were going away. And then you end up with all sorts of problem problems. I think the, the interesting thing with hooliganism in the 60s and 70s is how young the people were. It wasn't 50-year-old men in Stone Island jackets. It was it was 15-year-old boys. Yeah. You know, it really... It's, it's, a, it's a different thing now to how it used to be. I do find it a bit tragic. That like fifty and six year old blokes are still go for a tear up on a Saturday. Oh yeah, <laughs> it is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, I find it really odd. You know, in that family, and I was watching the Wales game. When was it? It was. Uh, I can't remember which game it was. Now it was before the Ukraine game. Mm-hmm. I took Ben down there. We, we had it was Austria. Yeah, we had family stand tickets. Yeah. So the bloke next to me, <laughs> in a Stone Island jacket, right? Good lad. Yeah. On his own, though. Right? Yeah. No family. Oh no no no. There's a few. Patently that, coked so. off his tits, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Was that the the barrage of abuse he was given <laughs> the to Austrian people was unbelievable. I thought, mate, you're surrounded by like eight year old kids and mums and dads. What yeah, are you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you're amazing. older than me. Fuck, give your head a shake for Christ's sake. What are you doing? <laughs> it's um, but also there's way more. Co- of football now than they used to be. I think that's exactly. A, a genuine I've really thing. noticed that after the yeah. after the pandemic, actually, yeah. there's a load of coke of yeah. football now, and it, in it, there used to be some people on it, but not like not like now. No, I think it's mad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the levels of it are mad. Don't and you know, me. in my experience, two thousand largely young men on in one place is a cocktail for a really great day. <laughs> really good day out. <laughs> Uh, strange one. My first thought watching this video was if you did this at anything in Britain, people would stick their middle fingers up. Yeah. And nobody's yeah. first thought here is to And swear also, whenever that camera. kid came on, as cute as that kid is, ah, wanker, wanker, wanker. wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just didn't think that this would be doable yeah. at a British sporting event. 
Because my initial thought was, if it cuts to me, middle finger straight away. Yeah, hundred percent. All the wankers. Hundred percent. I had the same conversation. We were watching the um, the Arsenal uh, Spurs game on the weekend. Yeah, and you can see it's a it's a bloody game of Russian roulette being a isn't director it? on those things. Oh, right? isn't it? it's a lot. Because when fun. they try to show a crowd shot, they they're obviously getting the feed before they put it live, right? Yes. They're looking at the different screens. They're thinking, right, for, right quickly show this. No one's calling on each other a wanker. Yeah. <laughs> no one's Just giving anyone the middle <laughs> finger. Cut away where he goes. <laughs> yeah. was, they're, on for, they're on for like half a second, then it's yeah. back to the action. Yeah. Although this is good. Well, it's this always like good. throw-ins or corners are the best. Because I love seeing kids. In. I love seeing like a 10-year-old kid do a double wanker sign. Yes. <laughs> it's, it is life-affirming in a way. 